guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video today i have been shopping i've been doing some festive shopping at none other than poundland of which i've managed to grab some absolute bargains some gifts gift ideas as well for you guys. I did go to one up near Burnley, which is where we used to live, and they have a really big one with the whole Pep & Co clothing range as well. Make sure you've grabbed yourselves your nice cozy drink. I've gone for a Starbucks mocha with, of course, the added squirty cream on top. Feeling festive, feeling cozy. So make sure you've grabbed the snacks as well, like candles. We've got fireside burning on in, burning on? Burning in the background from the White Company. And let's jump in to the haul. As always with my Poundland hauls, I have my little tradition of purchasing one of the charity scratch cards at checkout. They've got the Christmas edition ones. Again, these make cute little stocking fillers, or you could pop these in your Christmas cards to your friends and family this year. Table play settings as well, if you're hosting it at Christmas, just to have a little Christmas scratch card on each table place, and they are for charity, the Poundland ones. We'll scratch these off at the end of the video to see if we are a winner today. Now, before I get into sharing with you the items that I have picked up. Today's video sponsor is Pelinus, which is a brand that is perfect for this time of the year. It's the cozy season. It's the season we all want to keep nice and warm and toasty. Pelinus reached out at the perfect time and wanted to send me a couple of their Phoenix oil-filled radiators, which have been honestly a godsend. In a house like ours, which if you followed along our renovation journey, we purchased a on the cusp of Edwardian Victorian property. So they're quite large ceilings, bigger rooms really poorly insulated so we've completely renovated we've re-insulated we've finished the top two floors we've got the downstairs to do in the new year and these honestly are the perfect addition to our house not only for keeping it nice and warm but also the look and the style they're like kind of like vintage column style that just fit with our decor so we have a green one which is like a slimmer fit one for tom's room upstairs which he works from, it's like his office space, his walk-in wardrobe, his bathroom. We have a pop of forest green in that room running throughout, including his bathroom tiles. So we decided to opt for the green color, but they also do it in white and black. And then the other one that we've got, which we've put downstairs, it's so easy to control. The knob design just makes it so easy and simple plug in. There's no like refilling of the oil. The quality of the oil means that it will last its lifetime of the product duration. It provides efficient heating. The Pelinus radios is very safe. They give me peace of mind knowing that they have functions like the tilt technology, whereby if they were to tip over, especially if Barney's about, then it automatically shuts off. Likewise, if it gets too hot, it does the exact same. So you know that it's not gonna overheat. They emit a fast and gentle heat which evenly warms your entire house and the 3D convection heating delivers the even warmth for rooms up to 18 meters squared. So it doesn't feel like a dry heat like using a PTC fan heater. And they also have this really cool function. It's like a volcano fast heating tech to rapidly spread the heat with widened fins with a volcano vent and cross path design. The LED screen on this design allows for three power modes, a thermostat control so you can set the heat to your desired temperature and an adjustable timer too so you can add to your cozy nighttime routine with a continual quiet yet mighty warmth to your home it's a product that i am obsessed with and it's our new little home purchase that i'm loving so again i'll leave a link to it below in the description box make sure to check it out and let me know what you guys think and now let's jump into sharing with you i think i'm going to start with the clothing items seeing as though not every poundland has a pep and co i thought i would show you these first so as i've been talking about the season of keeping nice and cozy and warm i picked up this puffer jacket in this gorgeous sage green color it's like a very light sage green i picked it up in a 16 to wear it a bit more oversized and boxier fit on me and layer up with hoodies underneath it was 16 pounds and i love it now the next item is a t-shirt again i opted for a larger size to wear it as an oversized fit on me personally i opted for an 18 and who knew Poundland partner with Disney because this is a Disney t-shirt. It's in this charcoal gray color. It's just got like a Mickey Mouse printed on the front. I absolutely love it. Whether it's a t-shirt to just cozy and lounge around in, sleep in, whatever it may be. If you're going to Disney, 
this would be a fun little purchase. It's priced at £6. They do have other basic tees for a lot cheaper than that. But obviously, the partnership with Disney bumps up the price a little bit. Then I also got these boots for winter. I'm a big boot lover. I pretty much wear boots the majority of the year, it feels. So I always like to invest in a new pair of boots every year. And these ones are only £14. I did size up to these in a 7 and then I also got these thermal lounge slippers, which I thought I would throw in Tom's stocking this year. I feel like a nice cozy pair of slipper socks is always a win, at least in my opinion. And these ones are going to be too small for him. They're a size six to eight and a half. Didn't see that. Maybe I'll just have to wear these instead. Then the last of the items from the clothing section is this two pack of seamless bra let tops crop tops they do come with the padding but it is removable which i do tend to do especially after the first use i cut these in a medium at seven pounds for the pair i did take a reusable bag but on this occasion i bought that much that i had to buy another one and look at the one that i purchased oh my god it's just adorable santa's little helpers i feel like this would be good to put some of barney's wrapped up prezzies within almost to act as a bit of a stocking sack i had to show you that bag that i purchased because i'm obsessed okay let's talk bags and wrapping let's share with you some of the christmas wrapping that they have starting with this gift box which i thought was going to be so handy especially for those kind of irregular shaped products it's just plain brown craft paper on one side and then the lid has these little white minimal kind of scandy style christmas trees on it's three pounds i was gonna say it'd be two too cheap at a pound. I'm, I'm not surprised that it's more, to be honest with you. Gift boxes do tend to be more, and I love this design. We're definitely going for a brown, I say we, I am definitely going for a brown craft paper with a bit of olive green velvet ribbon that I've got, white ribbon as well. So I feel like that will go in, tie in really nicely with the rest of my wrapping. So I liked it so much. I also picked up the gift bag that they have in that same pattern print. It's kind of misshapen a little bit on route home, which is a bit annoying, but if I bulk it out with a load of presents. I feel like it'll work. It's got a little Christmas tree tag as well. At £1.50, they have this Christmas gift tag set with a few different things in. We've got some ribbon in there, some little Merry Christmas gift tags. I particularly loved these. They've got stars and even little jingle bells that you can pop on the presents. They did have this set in silver as well. And then I also picked up these, which I thought would be good for maybe some of the gift wrap if I want to add names on, or even just adding names to the labels. To use these gold letters, I thought would be really fun to do. It's from the craft section. And then I also picked up these Christmas bows, which again, I thought would look good. You could pop these on the tree, or you could also top a present with these and make them look nice and pretty. Then I also picked up these. They always have the cheapest, most affordable jute sacks for Christmas prezzies. These look good as Christmas decor as well. We've got a couple under our, under our tree, which I've got just kind of like put our blankets and some pillows in to kind of make it look like a full stocking, but really it's just there for decor purposes. So you could definitely do that with this. I am gonna keep this as a gift bag for someone. It's just a nice alternative to a gift bag. You know, sometimes if you've got maybe bulkier items that won't fit in a gift bag, I feel like these jute sacks are a good alternative and they are literally a pound. Then I did get a couple more Christmas tree decorations of which these ones, I've got some which I've not actually put out this year. Thinking of doing, in the future when we have renovated the downstairs doing an area with a real christmas tree in the kind of the kitchen living area of which i think white and wooden will be a nice theme so when i saw these i just thought well you know what they might not be here next year so i'm going to pick them up now a set of six pine cones with the white and wooden jute i just think that is exactly the theme that i'm thinking for for next year or at least for when we've renovated and get a real tree down there. Another theme that I have touched upon and I am very keen to do next year, thinking of adding a pop of burgundy. I, ever since I saw those white company napkins in burgundy that they brought out this year, I've been obsessed with the little pop of burgundy. So I saw these and I thought I'm gonna either test the waters and maybe pop them on the tree this year, which I think I might do, you know, or even if I box them away and keep them for next year, I spotted some in Poundland that I couldn't resist. So this velvet candy cane I thought was beautiful. And then I also picked this one up, 
which has more of a pattern and design on it. The camera is definitely making it look lighter than what it is. It's a real deep burgundy. But I saw these ones, which have the subtle gold glitter bits to them. And then another pack of four that I got. These are probably my favorite. They're more of a teardrop shaped fluted design. Again, that velvet, which just adds that little extra element of luxe feel to them with the gold toppers as well. So if you do spot any out there that are a real deep burgundy in the bargain stores, let me know. A couple of items from the cleaning kind of section that I picked up. First from Fabulosa, I've noticed they now do scented kitchen towels and um, toilet rolls. So I picked up these set of four toilet rolls with the scent of festive wreath. Oh my god, they really smell quite strong. Then I also picked up a couple of the scented car air fresheners, which I always recommend as like a little stocking stuffer. I just feel like it's a good idea. A stocking stuffer, that's very American. Anyway, I picked up this one, which is branded from Dunlop, and it's one of these vent clips that you pop on, and there's three included refills in the scent pine my favorite scent of all time for the festive season and then i also got this one which is actually coca-cola scented they had the santa the coca-cola santa they had these polar bears which i opted for then last of the kind of cleaning products that i picked up is one of these bamboo cleaning sponge for your pots i guess it could even look nice in a bathroom it's not designed for a bathroom though. It was in the kitchen section, but it comes with the little hanging rope. And yeah, it's a lovely soft texture for, you know, like for non-scratch items that you don't want to ruin. Let me show you some of the pet items now. Obviously I have little Barney Boo. He is getting spoiled since his first Christmas with us this year. So uh, I've noticed that Poundland are now stock Cupid and Comet, which is from Rosewood. I always see these in uh, Home Sense and TK Maxx, this brand. But to see it in Poundland, I was quite surprised. I think this one was five pounds. It's the Christmas dinner dog stocking. They've got the green wrapping, which is for the cats as well. This has three courses of delicious treats. You've got some festive salmon bites, some turkey bites, a little squeaky cracker toy as well, and a tennis ball in there. And then a couple of other bits that I got from the Cupid and Comet range as well. I think these ones were just a pound each. So this one is the turkey wrapped carrot twist. There's no rawhide or anything in these. And then the festive biscuit selection box. Oh, of course I had to do this for a little Christmas day picture. I don't even know if this is gonna fit in. It might be a bit too small actually but a little Christmas hat. And then I also picked up a, a little Christmas bandana. I have previously picked him one up, but it was too small for him. It says naughty, nice, and then a little checked box of I tried. And then I got these. These are actually from Pal Stretcher. I thought I might as well include them as well, but they are little red festive Christmas edition tennis balls. And then another item I got from Pal Stretcher for the kitchen is this pack of Christmas, Christmas? Christmas cookie cutters, which I thought I might as well just show you guys because Pound Stretcher is kind of verging on the same sort of thing as a Poundland anyway. I got this in the Christmas gifting section. It's a little wooden Sudoku. I'm actually gonna keep this for myself. I've talked about when I do the nice cozy living room with the log burner in future, the one that we currently use as our living kitchen, it'll be more of a living diner. And in the dining room, I'm thinking of having a kind of like a games theme. I've bought some like nice looking monopolies and scrabbles and dominoes. And I thought I would add this to that little collection. It's just a plain and simple wooden uh, block for Sudoku. I'm a puzzler, so. I love a Sudoku or a word search. Also in the Christmas section, I saw these candles. I have completely bashed one side in the bag, which is a bit annoying, but they had these in green and white I've seen online. Our store only had the green ones in. I thought these would look good. Um, well, I was gonna say layered up with our little Christmassy festive scene things, but I'm looking over on that window sill and there's a Christmas tree, so I might pop it on that one over there. And then in the hair accessories section, I saw these two, which I thought were quite festive. First of all, this velvet ribbon, ribbon, velvet headband with the little knot design. Now, I wouldn't say I'm the best at styling up things like headbands, but I feel like people that do pull them off really well. And I feel like I might try and make this work because I do like the idea of having a festive headband. I feel like the mistake is by pushing your hair back too much, you know, like as a child would do. So maybe just having your hair sit nicely and just popping it like that, maybe. 
I don't know, I'll have a play around, but I just thought that'd be good for either Christmas or New Year's as well. And then I also picked up this hair bow, which comes on a really garish packaging and quite childish as well. But I have a hairstyle in mind, not going off the packaging, and I'm going off the fact that it's a little beige bow, which kind of tied up behind your hair would look really pretty. You're definitely not gonna see that. I tend to go quite casual on Christmas day, but then a bit more glam with full face of makeup, maybe do my hair nice. Moving on, I saw this in the kitchen section, which I had to pick up, I thought it was adorable. Nifty kitchen stuff, bamboo lid and spoon, holds 500 mils, but I thought this would be good, not only in the kitchen, but even in a bathroom with a little um, thing of bath salts in. So you could pop this on a uh, bath tray if you've got one. The fact that it comes with a little spoon, you could just spoon in your bath salts. You could even maybe get some bath salts with that and pile it up into a little kind of self-care hamper for a Christmas gift idea, of which this could be included as well maybe. This is from Honest Eco, the Bamboo Back Brush, which honestly more than anything I got for the aesthetic, but if you do maybe tan up and want to scrub it off on your back and can't reach it, that could be great for that. But again, that kind of just styled up on a bath tray. I think it looks so nice, so expensive. And then another item that I saw in the gifting section at three pounds and thought would make a lovely gift idea for the stationery lover is this notebook and pen set. It is in a beautiful kind of dusky pink with gold, like shiny gold detailing on it. And obviously the pen is gold as well. And then last but not least, I stopped up on some Christmassy treats. These are some of my favorites. If you like white chocolate, try these. Then I also picked up one of these Reese's Snowman, which are pretty much chocolate coated peanut butter and it's pretty solid. So it's like a block of chocolate. I love these. If you know, you know, snowy and road Oreos are just the best. And then I also spotted these, which I've never seen before from Kit Kat. They are flavored caramelized biscuit, which obviously is like a Lotus Biscoff kind of flavor. And I thought they would look, look, they would be really, really yum. All my cream off the top is melted because I've been chatting so much. Mm. I feel like I wanna just sit here and enjoy this for a sec. The last, thing to do within this haul is of course the scratch cards oh look there's one with a little dog design on that's got to be got to be my favorite got a match three to win or find a bonus star i think it's the same thing for all nope doggy's not a winner Let's see secret santa oh that'd be a good idea actually to include one of these within a secret santa thing is though you'd be gutted if they won big and it's not even a person that you particularly <laughs> like no win on this one so we need a four or a five and it's a one. No win, no fee. I feel like that's an advert for something. No win, no fee. For some kind of like claims company or something. <laughs> Anyway, that rounds off today's Poundland haul. I feel like it's been a while since I've done one, but I hope you guys have enjoyed it nonetheless. Thank you once again to Poundless for very kindly sponsoring today's video, working with me, and of course, sending me the Phoenix radiators, which have been amazing. Highly recommended. I'll leave a link in the description box for you to check them out yourself. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day, and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.